Hello Wanderers, this is Mishrafi, your travel companion. We're setting course for an enchanting journey through Sri Lanka, the sparkling pearl of the Indian Ocean. With its diverse landscapes, from pristine beaches to lush highlands, from bustling cities to tranquil ruins, Sri Lanka is a treasure trove of unique experiences. We'll be exploring 10 of its most amazing places, each with its own allure and story. So are you ready? Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this exciting journey across the pearl of the Indian Ocean. Starting our countdown, at number 10, we have the charming resort town of Bentota. Nestled on the southwest coast of Sri Lanka, Bentota is a gem that sparkles with golden sands and azure waters. It's a place where you can immerse yourself in the rhythm of the waves, enjoy the thrill of water sports, or simply soak up the sun on its pristine beaches. The town is not just about beaches, though. It's also home to a famous turtle hatchery, where you can witness the miracle of life as tiny turtles make their way to the sea for the first time. This hatchery is a testament to the town's commitment to conservation and offers a unique experience that will leave you with unforgettable memories. Bentota is more than just a destination. It's an experience, a feeling, a state of mind. It's a place where you can unwind, explore, and create memories that will last a lifetime. Bentota is undoubtedly a paradise for beach lovers. Moving on to number nine, we have the little England of Sri Lanka, Nuwar Elia. Lush greenery, cool climate, and a touch of colonial charm, Nuwar Elia is truly a gem in the heart of Sri Lanka. Imagine sipping on a warm cup of tea while gazing at the endless tea plantations rolling over the hills. This is the experience Nuwar Elia offers. It's a world-renowned hub for tea production, and visiting one of these plantations is a must-do. Now let's talk architecture. The colonial buildings here echo the town's rich history. The charming bungalows, the grand post office, and the quaint hotels, they all speak of a bygone era, a time when this town was a favorite retreat for the British. Nestled in the mountains, Noir Elia's picturesque landscapes are a sight to behold. From the stunning Gregory Lake, to the vibrant Hakgala Botanic Gardens. It's a haven for nature lovers. Nuwar Elia, a refreshing retreat away from the tropical heat. At number eight, we have the ancient city of Anuradhapura. This city, one of the oldest continuously inhabited in the world, is a treasure trove of culture and history. It's like walking through a living museum where the whispers of the past echo through the present. Anuradhapura is renowned for its well-preserved ruins that narrate a tale of a rich, ancient civilization. The city was the heart of Theravada Buddhism for many centuries, and this spiritual heritage is reflected in its numerous temples. The atmosphere is steeped in reverence, and the air is filled with the faint scent of incense and lotus flowers. One of the most significant Buddhist pilgrimage sites, the Sri Maha Bodhiya, is also here. It's a sacred fig tree said to be a direct sapling from the tree under which Gautama Buddha attained enlightenment. So, if you're a history buff or spiritual seeker, you'll find Anuradhapura absolutely enthralling. It's a city that takes you back in time, coming in at number seven, the vibrant city of Colombo. Now, imagine a city where the old and new coexist, where the pace of life is as fast as the tuk-tuks that zip through its streets. This is Colombo, Sri Lanka's commercial capital and largest city. Here, colonial buildings stand tall amidst modern high-rises, a testament to the city's rich history and rapid development. The Dutch Hospital Shopping Precinct, a colonial-era hospital turned shopping complex, is a splendid example of this blend. Colombo's nightlife is as diverse as its architecture. From rooftop bars offering panoramic city views to beachside lounges, there's something for everyone jazz, hip-hop, or traditional Sri Lankan baila, you name it, Colombo has it. Shopping enthusiasts, you're in for a treat. From high-end fashion brands to local artisanal crafts, Colombo's shopping scene is a paradise. And let's not forget the food. From street food vendors to upscale restaurants, the city offers a smorgasbord of flavors that reflect its multicultural background. Colombo, a city that never sleeps. At number six, we have the Wildlife Haven, Yala National Park. When it comes to immersing yourself in the world of the wild, few places compare to this incredible park. It's a blend of nature's finest, with its vibrant ecosystem bustling with life. Imagine embarking on a safari, 
where the rustle of leaves under a roaming elephant's foot is a familiar sound, and the sight of a leopard lounging on a tree branch becomes a cherished memory. Picture yourself marveling at the kaleidoscope of bird species, from the flamboyant peacocks to the somber-hued hornbills. Yala isn't just about the animals, though. The landscape itself is a sight to behold. It's a patchwork of luscious forests, grasslands, and wetlands interspersed with rocky outcrops. It's a place where the land meets the sea, creating a unique coastal wilderness that's as beautiful as it is diverse. Yala National Park, a true wildlife spectacle. Hey, if you're enjoying this journey as much as we are, don't forget to hit that like button. It truly helps us to continue bringing you these amazing travel experiences. And speaking of experiences, we've got plenty more in store for you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the time. Click that subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. We've got a world of adventure waiting for you. Now, let's get back to our countdown and see what's in store at number five. At the halfway mark, we have the beautiful beach town of Marissa. Picture this, pristine, golden sandy stretches kissing the azure waves of the Indian Ocean, a symphony of surf and sand that's truly a feast for the senses. Marissa isn't just another beach town, it's a world in itself. Now imagine the thrill of spotting the giants of the sea. Yes, we're talking about the majestic whales. The waters off Marissa are rich with marine life, offering some of the world's best whale watching experiences. From December to April, the ocean becomes a playground for these magnificent creatures, a sight that leaves spectators awestruck. But it's not all about the whales and the waves. Marissa exudes a laid back vibe that's hard to resist. Time seems to slow down here, as if allowing you to soak in every moment, every breath of fresh ocean air, every stunning sunset. Marissa, a beach lover's paradise. At number four, we have another ancient city, Polonarua. This remarkable place is a treasure trove of archeological wonders and an absolute delight for history buffs. It's like stepping back in time as you wander through the ruins of a once thriving metropolis. Polonarua was the capital of Sri Lanka following the decline of Anuradhapura, and it still bears the marks of its glorious past. The city is home to well-preserved ruins of palaces, temples, and statues, all testament to the architectural brilliance of a bygone era. But it's not just about the ruins. Polonarua is also known for the Parakrama Samudra, an impressive man-made lake. This colossal reservoir, built by King Parakramabahu I, is a marvel of ancient engineering and a testament to the city's historical significance. In the heart of Sri Lanka, Polonarua offers a perfect blend of history, culture, and nature. It's a place where the past resonates in every corner. Polonarua, a testament to Sri Lanka's glorious past. Moving into our top three, at number three we have the cultural capital, Kandy. Nestled among verdant hills in the heart of Sri Lanka, Kandy is a city that beautifully marries tradition and nature. Foremost among its many attractions is the Temple of the Tooth. As a sacred relic of the Buddhist faith, this temple houses what's believed to be the tooth of the Buddha himself. Its intricate architecture and spiritual atmosphere make it a must visit for believers and non-believers alike. Just a stone's throw away, you'll find the serene Candy Lake. This man-made wonder mirrors the city's tranquility and offers a perfect spot for leisurely strolls or peaceful contemplation. But Candy is not all about quiet reflection. Once a year, the city springs to life with the vibrant Asala Parahara Festival. This Buddhist celebration is a spectacle of traditional dances, lavishly decorated elephants, and processions that light up the night. Kandi, where tradition meets natural beauty. At number two, we have the historic city of Galle. A city that effortlessly marries the old with the new, Galle is an essential stop on any Sri Lankan itinerary. Let's start with the Galle Fort. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a marvel of the Dutch colonial period, with its well-preserved ramparts and streets lined with charming boutiques, cafes, and art galleries. Walking around this old fort, you can't help but feel transported back in time, immersed in centuries of history. Venture beyond the fort, and you'll find the old town of Gala, a delightful blend of tradition and modernity. The cobbled streets, Dutch-style houses, and ancient mosques tell stories of a bygone era, while the contemporary restaurants and shops bring in a touch of the present. 
Now, imagine all this set against a backdrop of a stunning coastline. The azure waters of the Indian Ocean and the golden sandy beaches make a perfect blend of history, culture, and breathtaking natural beauty. Gala, where history comes alive. And finally, at number one, we have the iconic Siguria. This ancient rock fortress, located in the heart of Sri Lanka, is a testament to the architectural and artistic ingenuity of a bygone era. Siguria, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, was built during the reign of King Kasyapa in the 5th century. This massive rock column, rising over 600 feet from the ground, was transformed into a palatial complex with beautifully manicured water gardens at its base and a palace at its summit. The journey to the top is as exciting as it is rewarding, with winding staircases, frescoes painted on sheer rock walls, and the famous Lion's Paw Gateway. Once you reach the summit, you are greeted with a breathtaking panoramic view of the surrounding jungles and mountains. The experience of standing atop Siguria, enveloped in the whispers of ancient legends and the serene beauty of nature, is truly unmatched. Siguria, the epitome of Sri Lanka's rich history and natural beauty. And that's a wrap on our journey across Sri Lanka. We've journeyed through the vibrant city of Colombo, explored the ancient ruins of Polonarua and Anuradhapura, and basked in the natural beauty of Yala National Park. We've savored the tranquility of Nuwara Elia and Marissa, reveled in the rich culture of Kandy and Bentota, marveled at the historical grandeur of Gale, and finally stood in awe at the majesty of Sigeria. This is Mashrafi, signing off. Until next time, keep exploring.